Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing? So, I don't know what my problem is lately, but for some reason, as in the title of this video, Michaels, why can't I quit you? Why? 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 Um, because you have such amazing yarn right now, that's why. <laughs> um, I literally have so many small like after that big order with the anniversary cakes i was like that's it i'm done I'm not ordering anymore and then i put in like the small order with the uh cloud cake order remember that one that i got and um then i think since then i've put in like three smaller orders um, because, like, they keep, like, having and not having, like, things that I want, like, so I'd go and then they have, like, the over 40, basically $50 of shipping or more is free, over $49, so, um, sometimes I'll order a couple cakes and then be like, well, if I order a couple more, it's free shipping, or, well, I have this gift certificate, so... Let's just add this in the cart also. You know how it goes. So, full disclosure, since I waited to open this with you guys, um, like I went out, took Damon to work today, and this was waiting on my doorstep when I got back. This um, package. And I thought I ordered all like pretty small orders, but this is what was waiting. Like it wasn't a box, so I guess it's a small order. I have a feeling, if I have to guess, I'm guessing that right after I did the video with you guys and went to see what cl what color cloud cakes were on available at the time, and I was going to go get the, um, the Lava Rock, the black crystal cake, which, by the way, I came in, did the video, went to get it, the black crystal cake was sold out. I was trade devastated. I don't even think that's the right... <laughs> Yeah, Trey devastated. Very devastated, right? Is my French right? I think it is. I'm a fan of the French language, but I'm not that great at it. <laughs> I do really love the French language, though. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Anyway. Wow, tangent. Anyway. Um, so I went to order stuff. And they didn't have it. Then, my amazing friend Bella found more of the cakes at her Michaels. So she messaged me and said, do you want me to send you those? And I was like, yes, oh my God, I love you so much. Yes, I would love that. So we make the deal. She's gonna send me a couple of the cakes. Um, I think she's sending them out Monday. By the way, it is Friday, November 26th. I believe it's Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving of 2021. Uh, and then I got online and Angela emailed me also, and she saw the same thing that I did. Uh, they're back in stock. <laughs> so, um, okay, so timeline of events. I went online after the video that I showed you guys and said, I intend to go get the crystal cakes, the black crystal cakes. They were sold out. Um, so I ordered whatever cloud cakes I ordered. Then I checked back the next day, I want to say, and they were still sold out, but... No, that was today. That was last night. Last night, uh, last night, Bella asked me, D do I want her to send it? Yes, I do. We made the arrangement. I checked again, and oh my gosh, Michael's had the black uh, crystal cakes available again. So I was like, oh, should I order them? I did not, because I... <sighs> I'm doing the like FOMO thing to a point, which I didn't think that I did, but in reality I do, um, to a point. Like I don't, I think back in the day I went really crazy with it and then I got it under control a little bit, but like because I know that I love these cakes, with certain colors of them I'm getting the FOMO, like if they've sold out and come back I like am trying to grab some up too much I think so I tried to be con like under control and I'm like no Bella's sending me some I need to just stop I'm not gonna get them and then in my head I was like but Heather 
You love black. You know you're going to love these. You know the black goes with everything. Just get them. But I didn't. I didn't. But they have other colors of the crystal cakes available. Not the one that I wanted, which was the, um, I mean, there's a couple that I want. So not the one in particular that I wanted, which was like the reddish variegated colored one or striped colored one. Um, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's like orangey. It's really pretty. Um, it's, yeah, it's really pretty. It's very heathery looking. <laughs> um, but the other one, it is also heathery looking. There's a lot of these that are, that like speak to me. Like that's another reason why I'm like obsessed about it. Like really, I do want to go back and get, um, the peacock. I see that was available again. I like a lot of the solid colored ones. Um, I do want to get the claret one. And I almost wonder if in one of my small purchase orders, if I did or not, I need to go check. Cause I really do want some of the claret it's really really pretty but the rattan which is like a brown mixture uh of colors is available finally so i got some of the rattan this is not it for sure there's no way this is it because um that i ordered more, way more recently like this morning i think or last night my days mixed together a little bit because i've been I was up until like eight in the morning writing. Like David came home from work and I was still writing. And I was like, I'm going to bed. Like, hi, bye. <laughs> um, so long story short, Heather's been randomly finding things coming back into stock. I think what it was, was I was checking to see if that chocolate fountain anniversary cake ever came back into stock. And it's like, it is like the one that is not back in stock as of when I was looking. So, now I've thoroughly confused myself as to what I have ordered. So, let's you and I find out together what the heck I've got in this package. I am guessing it's some cloud cakes, which is going to be just, like, heavenly delight. So, a bunch of you guys said that you ended up wanting to buy them after my ridiculous reaction to the couple that I did buy. Did you end up buying them? Have you guys bought them? Do you love them? I'm just curious what you guys thought of them. Guys, I think I was right. This is well packed, by the way. So, um, I haven't been in love with, well, let me rephrase, because I do like them all. <laughs> but I decided I shouldn't buy all of the, um colors like the variegated the stripey colors but I was a sucker for the more solid colors so this is probably probably all solid colors I don't think I got anything of the of the stripes but this is a huge bag of softness I'm gonna tell you right now I just want to like reach my hands in here and just delightful this is delightful oh my god okay so let me see because i don't remember how many oh <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <sighs> i don't remember having this big of a reaction to even like the latte cakes like i'm not saying i like them any less i love latte cakes but this is such a, um, even though I I had the couple you guys that watched my video have most definitely, oh, this came with some, this is not a sparkly yarn, but this came with like some added glitter too, like whatever warehouse these were kept in. The, uh, the other couple that I got the other day also had some um, additional glitter pieces on them. Let's see. I'm trying to like balance these around. Uh, I, I'm keeping like right here where you can't see in front of the camera. I'm keeping my Stranger Things advent calendar like near and dear to my heart. So it's like sitting here like I'd say in the way, but it's absolutely right where I want it. So it's not in the way, but it is compromising where I can lay this yarn out. Because <laughs> I want to be able to see exactly what I got and show you guys how many I got and all that good stuff. 
Oh my gosh, this is oh such luxurious. Like this yarn is so just buttery and wonderful and oh my god. Everything that is like right in the world, I swear. Like I feel like this yarn could like solve world problems. <laughs> okay, that's an exaggeration, but <laughs> like it is wonderful. Did I not Oh, it's, I bet it's on the outside. Mm. Yeah, it is. Sometimes they put the little clear envelope on the outside for a packing slip, and so sorry about the crinkly. I'm just gonna cut it off instead of rip it off. And uh, sometimes they shove it in the bag. Okay, let's just toss that bag on the floor so we don't have a lot more crinkly packaging going on. I guess it's not as bad as like the ice yarn crinkly packaging at least, right? All right, all right. So, um, fairly certain. I was just gonna kind of try to check it out and see if I had a gift card. But again, I think it was Angela that said when you have a gift card, they kind of take a little bit away from each one of the prices to kind of even it out. And I fully believe that. Um, it does seem like that's probably what they did here. And so... And pl like plus on top of that, this was part of the... Because um, like for Black Friday, as of today right now, like all of their yarn is, I think it's like buy two, get one free. So they're also averaging out that price in the yarn, like three of the cakes, like where it lists three cakes, where I've bought three of the same color on here, it, they're listed as $6.11, but two cakes of another color are listed as $4.44, or two cakes of another color are listed as $9.43. because of the way the gift card and the sales worked out. So like they're combined together. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I had at least a $5 um, like gift certificate reward thing. And then they were on sale also for the buy two, get one free. And their normal price is $9.99, yes. And I think, I think um, they are worth that. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, you know I already had one of these, so I bought two more in the color graphite. And I have not yet had a chance to work with it because I'm still working on the secret project that I keep teasing you guys about. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I have definitely, like, <laughs> I have been in here, like, squishing my yarn a lot <laughs> because I just, I seriously could, like, bathe in this stuff, you know, or just, like, lay out a bed of it and, like, lay on it. Like, it's the most wonderful yarn ever. Um, we did go over the stats in the other video when I got the other two, but since this one is all cloud cakes let me just go over it one more time with you hopefully quicker than the last time uh this is a medium four weight yarn it is machine washable and dryable um it is 100 percent polyester it is 8.5 ounces which is 240 grams there are 760 yards in this cake uh, which is 695 meters for those of us following the metric system the suggested needle size for knitters is a 4.5 millimeter, which is a US 7. And the suggested hook size is a 4.5 millimeter, which is a US 7 also. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, uh, it says limited time only on here and no wool, obviously, because it's 100% polyester. Um, I believe these were made in China. Let me double check. Yep, made in China. For your inspirations part of the Lush Living Collection. Um, limited time only, I think I just said that part. And again, this is the color graphite. 
which it really does look like graphite like the like if you break off a pencil lead it is like that color it's like that perfect silvery gray it's beautiful and there are gratuitous um glitter pieces included it's wonderful it's like yeah glitter's not meant to be in this yarn but here it is oh my god oh I love this I love it so much like I want to make um I saw on was Facebook like this it was called because I mean there's the ones that go around the pictures that go around that say like everyone has that cold friend and it's like the turtleneck sweater that goes out like a big like teles telescope lens or whatever um you know, on the submarine, <laughs> and it's the giant sweater that they're covered in, but there was a legit uh, pattern that was called, like, a couch, was it a couch cardigan or something, that's, like, just a long-sleeved sweater, and I think it was turtlenecked, and the buttons were on the side, and they were big buttons that buttoned all the way down, and essentially it was a blanket, because it did go down to the person's, like, feet, I'm guessing, I don't think it showed the actual feet, but it went very far down, and there was, like, probably, like, a cable design in the one I saw or whatever. Like, it was an actual pattern. Um, but a sweater. Like, essentially, it was one of those, uh, remember the, the blankets that were big, like, in the 90s or whatever that had the, the armholes? It was essentially one of those that buttoned up on the side. <laughs> I really want to make one of those out of this. Like, maybe I should design one. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm that's a dead serious thing. Maybe I should design one of those specifically for this yarn. It would be dreamy. Like I'm not even kidding. The gears are turning right now, you guys. The gears are turning. Cuz I'm I I am that friend that's cold all the time. All the time. <laughs> I was just going to actually say, like, I was thinking about saying, like, especially for Vlogmas, you guys might want to get used to stuff like, like this, uh, this is like one of those, like, long john material shirts, and then, like, my Like Machine shirts that I was showing off, because I actually have two of them. I bought another one, um, because I wear it so often already, but, and then I have, like, a Fozzie long sleeve shirt, but, like, all of my long sleeve shirts, like that, you might as well get used to them because, like, I feel like I'm just going to be living in, like, three or four different shirts, like, all the time this winter. Because, uh, especially, like, this room's freezing. Freezing. It was, like, an add-on room, and I've told you how tiny it is already. The people before us, or the people before them, um, just, like, added on to this house, and there's no actual... It's insulated, but I don't think there's any actual heat in this room. Like, I have a heater currently because of because of Damon's stuff over here my stuff's against the wall so the heater that I have is kind of blocked in so I don't want to like turn it on so it's freezing in here <laughs> like it's not like frost build up freezing but like I'm always cold like I'm always cold so get used to me in this thing or or in my new couch cozy blanket <laughs> anywho we're here for yarn not ramblings about me being cold so, I bought two of these. Now I have three. I thought the graphite goes with pretty much anything that I buy. Like, any color that I buy, right? So, it's the closest that they had to black in this color. So, and then I bought cloud gray. Which is very silvery gray. Like, I would not have fought them on if they had just called it silver, to be honest. It's very silvery gray. But I like cloud gray, too. Cloud gray. It's so soft. Every one of these colors is just as soft as, as the next, too. Like, so far, anyway. It's wonderful. And I got three of these. This one's, like, a perfect... Like, there's nothing wrong with this cake, I swear. The, one of the graphites was like that too. I got three of these because I figured this would also go really well with any other color that I got. Because I kind of, while I don't need it once again, will probably end up with more of these before, before all is said and done. Because um, when I bought that Merlot the other day, which I'll show you at the end, but it's not part of this order. So when I, I thought maybe I had bought another Merlot, but it doesn't look like I did. 
to have like two of them. There's so much yardage in these though. I mean, it might be fine if I mix it with a graphite, that's, that's enough for whatever. Um, but I thought I had bought one anyway, so I may go back, buy one of those, and I think we all know what happens when you get on the website, because my Michaels don't have these either. They don't have these or the crystal cakes. Um, or the anniversary cakes. Although I did see the tiny little Michaels that is that direction from me. Uh, it listed them as having two of the colors of anniversary cakes. I find that so hard to believe because they never have anything. Like, I'll go check eventually. They'll probably be sold out by the time I do. But we'll see. <laughs> um, anywho, then I got Rich Teal. And this is gorgeous. Like, um, I don't gravitate towards blues a lot, but when I do, it's this, like, beautiful teal, like, peacocky blue. It's almost this blue right here in my hat. Almost. It's very pretty. Like, I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> um, I love it a lot. There, I had a latte cake that was almost this color. Like, it was a little whiter because of the fuzz being white on it the hair coming off of it but the underlying color was almost this color um i had made a uh cowl with it one year just like a granny cowl very nice i still wear that cowl i love it um it's long since like the fuzz had long since matted on it but it's very warm it's soft i love it <laughs> anywho um yeah, so this is rich teal, and I got two of these. This is so pretty. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? And then the last two that I got, I believe this color is raspberry. Yep, I got raspberry. Aren't those pretty, you guys? Like, how gorgeous are those? And it is not the same color. Let me show you. I had the other two, like here's the other graphite that I had gotten. So I'm going to let that join its brethren over here. Here's the Merlot that I had gotten. So it is different than the raspberry. And there's the two side by side. Those are pretty though. Like that would be pretty together, maybe. Maybe. Like depending on what you do, I suppose. I still like the Merlot with the graphite. I think that'd be really, really pretty. But um, these two are actually... Like, I know I got the um, silvery one and the graphite one to go with these, but, like, these two are kind of pretty together, too, no? Do you like these two together? What do you guys think? The blue and the raspberry? Would you put these two together? I think they're kind of funky. They're, like, like an 80s, 90s kind of vibey looking. Anyway. Um, but, yeah. And I, I liked the solid ones better than the uh, stripey ones. I'm not going to say I don't like the stripey ones. I like them all. I'm just, um, despite the fact that I'm sitting here amongst a jungle now of cloud cakes, I'm attempting to be a little reserved with them. Um, but I really do love these. Like, this is a steady favorite, and um, I will happily get rid of some yarn to keep these, to be fully honest. Um... I will have to work with them to make sure I'm not giving you, like, bad advice when I say stock up on them. But, like, by touch alone, I can't suggest enough to stock up on them if if you like really soft. Because they don't appear like they're going to hang up on themselves that easily. They don't, they don't appear that fuzzy. Because, like, um, latte cakes are really fuzzy. And they don't really hang up on themselves. At least I don't find them to be very hard to frog. Um, there's a little, like, maybe you might have to work with the hairs if they do happen to catch. But they're not, like, working with um, super wooly yarn or, like, a roving yarn that's got a lot of roving, like, loose roving with it. Um, like, my favorite yarn is roving. And sometimes it can be difficult to frog. But I'm pretty used to, like, working with it right? So I don't have a lot of problems <laughs> myself. I know other people do, but like, I don't know. As In the grand scheme of frogging, I don't feel like this will be a big hang-up problem. I guess I'll just have to try some and find out for you guys. But as soon as my super secret project 
will be done. And I'll be done with my writing project in a few days. It's coming to an end. I closed the gap by like half last night. So in my last video when I was talking about it, I have half of that done. So uh, just a couple more days. Like as soon as this video is done, I'm actually going to go knock out some more of that. And then get on with my um, Yule gift. And then I can start getting on with this. And I still need to pick out, speaking of when I was speaking on my Stranger Things advent calendar, I need to start thinking about um, what really cool project I, I would like to put them all together. Like a lot of people do like granny squares together or like a hexies blanket maybe together like granny hexies. Or like a shawl, like a scrap looking shawl. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I like the thought of a blanket. I'm not really sure what 24 minis and a full size skein will do because I don't work with a lot of minis. Actually, I'd, I've never worked with minis. Let me rephrase that. So I don't really know crochet wise like what they will get me as far as, you know, doing that. But if I could think of a project before Vlogmas in the next like week, that'd be amazing because then maybe through Vlogmas I could work on it. But if not, I'll hoard the Stranger Things yarn up separately and work on something afterwards with it because you know I'm going to keep them like separate. You know I'm going to hoard it to the side if I don't work on it right away. So anyway, side note on that. But yeah, so these are the... Uh, the cloud cakes that I got. So one more time for colors. This is the raspberry. Um, this is the rich teal. Here is the graphite. Um, ee, it's gonna fall on me. <laughs> Baby Yoda, keep that, keep that with it. There we go. Watch that for me. You got it. Use the force. That is the silver, or it is silver colored. That is the cloud gray. Yes, cloud gray. And then this was the Merlot. So those are the colors, the solid colors of, I think those must be the only solid colors available, at least available right now online, because I'm pretty certain I would have gotten all the solids. Um, I'll have to work with them and think about the other ones though, because I don't, I just don't want to end up with a bunch of like stripe ones that it's hard for me to put together with something, at least with the solid ones. I feel like if they'll go together, they they could go together in a project because I don't like to mix fibers together. Like I wouldn't want to like mix these with like red heart or something just because the red heart color would go with them because they're very not the same. <laughs> these are so dreamy. I don't know. I'm funny about stuff that way sometimes, you know, but this has gone on quite long enough. So I will talk to you guys later. You know that I love you. You know that I appreciate all the comments. I hope you guys have a really great weekend. And um, I will, if, if I don't find something else to talk to you about, I will see you very soon for Vlogmas. And otherwise, I will see you even sooner if I find something to talk to you about. <laughs> love you guys. See you soon.